This demonstration will look at installing the Hyper-V management tools onto a Windows desktop. This will then allow us to manage our Hyper-V installation remotely and it means that we don't have to RDP on the server which is potentially a security issue. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to come into control panel. Take the start button, type in control, find control panel and click control panel. We'll maximize this up a little bit and what we want to do here is turn on the Hyper-V features. So all I'm going to do here is just type in feature, click on the programs and features and what we want to do here is turn on some features. So we click on turn windows features on or off. Just going to build up the list here. And what we want is we want Hyper-V. So what we'll do at this point here, just expand Hyper-V and we want the Hyper-V management tools. So we'll click the Hyper-V management tools, click the OK button. And this is going to go away, search for the files and install the files. So the feature's now been enabled, so we'll just click close button. Just close down control panel. Now we'll close down control panel, just come to the start button. And on the start button here, all we'll do is we'll type in Hyper. And what we can see now is we've got our Hyper-V manager. So we'll click our Hyper-V manager. Maximize this up a little bit. And all we'll do here is we'll just right click at this point here, connect to a server, and we'll just type in the name of our server. So we've typed in lon host one we will select the OK button. And ah, what we can see here is we're now connected to the Hyper-V Manager sitting on our Windows desktop. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of adding the Hyper-V Manager to the Windows desktop operating system. Thank you.